Hi guys, Chet here. Today, I'm going to walk you through Go Canvas, an incredibly useful tool for creating and managing mobile forms. First off, I'll give you an overview of Go Canvas, and then we'll go over the main features that make it a great choice for businesses. I'll also show how to create dispatch and mobile forms in Go Canvas. So without further delay, let's get started. All right, before we go into the details, let me give you a brief overview of Go Canvas. Go Canvas is a tool that helps businesses move away from old paper forms. Instead, it lets them use customizable mobile apps to collect and manage information. With Go Canvas, it's easy to create and update forms right from your phone or your tablet. It even works offline so that you don't have to worry about losing data. Plus, it comes with helpful features like drag and drop app building, real-time data sharing, and automated reports. Go Canvas works great for all kinds of businesses like construction, healthcare, retail, and field services. It's built for teams that need a simple way to collect and manage data whether they're tracking job progress, doing inspections, or recording customer details. Now that you know what Go Canvas is, let me show you how to sign up for a brand new account. First, head over to gocanvas.com. Once you're on the home page, look for the Try It Free button in that top right corner and click it. On the next page, pick the size of your company. Let's say that you choose one to 10 employees, then hit the Submit button. After that, you'll see a form to fill out. Next, fill in the form with some basic information like your first name, your last name, and your work email. You'll also need to provide your company name and choose your industry, such as construction and contractors. Add your company size too, so that Go Canvas can tailor the experience specifically for you. There's also a field for your country, which is usually detected automatically, but you can change it if needed. Then type in your phone number and create a password. Once everything is filled out, click the Start Free Trial Now button. After that, Go Canvas will send you an email to activate your account. Now open that email and click on the Activate Account button. Once you do that, you'll be taken straight to your account dashboard. Now that you've signed up, let's check out the Go Canvas dashboard. It's clean, it's simple, and it's easy to navigate. On the left side of the screen, you'll see a menu with all of the main functions. First off, the Dashboard tab shows you your account setup details. Once your account is all set up, the dashboard will give you a quick overview of everything in your account. Next, the Work Hub is where you can keep track of everything that you're working on. Here you can see in progress, upcoming, submitted, and unfinished dispatches all in one place. Then the Forms tab is where your forms are stored. You can edit, publish, and manage them at any time. You can also create new forms right from here whenever you need. After that, the Submissions tab is where all of your filled out forms are stored. You can review them, you can track the data, and manage everything easily. Also, the Reference Data and Images section helps you stay organized. This is where you can store data sets and images to use in your forms, making your work faster and so much more efficient. Plus, the Integrations tab connects Go Canvas to other tools that you might use so that everything runs smoothly and saves you time. Finally, the Account section is where you can update your profile, change your settings, and manage preferences. If you need to upgrade or adjust your plan, just head to the Purchase option. And if you need help, the Help section has frequently asked questions, guides, and contact options to assist you. Now let's discuss how you create dispatch in Go Canvas. Now dispatch forms are used to assign work to your team members and also to track their progress. To create a dispatch, first click on Work Hub in the menu there on the left. Look for the Create Dispatch button and click it. You'll see two options now, Create New and Upload Dispatches. Click on Create New to move forward. Next, on the new page, you'll see a drop-down menu next to which form would you like to use. Select the form that you want to dispatch and assign it to someone. Let's pick the first option, Daily Field Reports. Now after selecting it, extra fields will appear. Fill in details like dispatch name and description. In the Assign field, choose the person responsible for completing this specific task. Further down, you'll see two options for sending the form, immediately or schedule for later. Pick whichever works best for you. If you choose to send it right away, click the radio button next to immediately. Finally, there's a send notification option at the bottom. This will alert you when the form is completed and submitted. Once everything is filled out, click next to go ahead. Now on the next page, the first field lets you pick a date. This sets the schedule for when the job will happen. Right next to it, there's a time field where you can add the exact time the dispatch starts. This makes everything clear for the assigned team. Then the job name dropdown gives you a list of predefined titles. So 
it's easy to categorize the dispatch under the right type of work. Below that, there's a job number field where you can add a unique ID to help track the job. A little further down, you'll see the address section. This includes fields for the address, city, state, and zip code. These make sure that the dispatch location is recorded correctly so that there's no confusion for the worker heading there. Next, a weather conditions section with options like clear, partly cloudy, cloudy, rain, or snow. Picking the right one helps with planning for any weather-related challenges. There are also fields for minimum and maximum temperatures in Fahrenheit, which is useful for weather sensitive jobs or tasks that need specific precautions based on temperature. Beyond the basics, you can add more details in expandable sections. The job information section will let you add specific details about the task or project tied to the dispatch. The task section is for listing out the duties that need to get done so that the assigned team knows exactly what to do. On top of that, there is an events section where you can track any important milestones or updates during the job. The material section is where you list the tools or resources needed, making sure that everything is ready to go before the job starts. Other information are the detailed notes section for any additional information or instructions. And finally, the summary section gives you really an overview of everything that you've entered so that you can double check all of it before moving forward. Once you provided all the required information, click the Create Dispatch button at the bottom right corner of the page. Now, let me show you how to create and publish a mobile form in Go Canvas. Mobile forms are digital versions of paper forms that make it easier to capture data and information on the go. To create a mobile form, first head to the Forms tab in the menu on the left. Now from here, click the Create New button in the top right corner. A drop-down menu with two options will show up, Mobile Form and Folder. But for this tutorial, we'll choose the first option, which is Mobile Form. Now once you click the Mobile Form button, you'll be taken to the Form Builder. At the top of the screen there, you'll see a default name. You can change it by double-clicking on it. Then type in the name that you want for your form. Make sure that it's clear and easy to understand so that you can find it quickly later. On the left side of the screen, you will see the Field Library. Now this is where you can find all of the form elements that you can add. There are text fields for entering words and numbers, plus static text for displaying information that doesn't need to be edited. If you need automatic calculations, there are fields for that too, based on what users enter. Additionally, there are rating fields for capturing feedback and choice fields for single or multiple selections. You can also include multimedia elements like photos, signatures, drawings, or static images to add some visual data to your form. Moreover, there are date, time, and location fields to capture exact timestamps and GPS coordinates. Other options include checkboxes, links, mirror fields, and even barcodes giving you plenty of ways to customize your forms really for all kinds of data collection. The main canvas right in the center of the screen is where you design your form. It's where you can add and arrange fields really in a way that makes sense. When you click Add Field, you can provide details of the field like name and then press Enter. You can then add as many fields as you want. You also have options like Add Screen, Add Table, or Add List to split things into sections or create interactive lists. On the right side of the screen, you'll see two main sections, the Preview Panel and the Outline Panel. Now, the Preview Panel shows you exactly how the form will look on a mobile device, so you can make changes as you go before publishing. This helps make sure that the form is easy to use and works well for mobile data entry. The Outline Panel gives you a clear view of all of the fields and elements in the form. It really helps you quickly find and edit what you need without having to scroll through everything. If you click that Save button at the top right, your form will be saved as a draft. This way that you can come back to it later and make changes if you need to. Once you're happy with how the form looks, you can click the Test option to try it out before publishing. Now this really just helps you make sure that everything works the way you want. After testing the form, hit the Publish button to make it ready for data entry on the Go Canvas mobile app. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more step-by-step -step tutorials. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.